going to eat some Korean fried chicken today at this place called Kokyu. Um, I think they opened two years ago and I remember when we first went there they were the, the best Korean fried chicken I've ever had in Berlin. To be honest I haven't been there for about a year but I'm pretty sure they are still very good. Um, so let's go, I'm going to show you which sauces that we choose and that we like and what they have on the menu. Let's go! This is how it looks from the outside and then you go in and then there's also a little bit more space inside. Looks like that. Okay, so they have fried chicken as I said and then you can choose this one for two people, this is for three people with bones, without bones and then they have this sauces um, to go with them. Also they extended their menu with the ramyun, veggie ramyun dokboki. They didn't have that last time but I think we're going to stick to the Korean fried chicken today. It's here! So this is the um, sweet chili. We ordered extra um, Korean rice cakes to go with it. Then we have fries that goes along um, and this is the soy garlic one with black sesame. And then you get complimentary radish. That's it! Yum! chili one. It's very sticky on the outside because it's covered with um, a lot of sugar and gochujang but it should be still crispy. Mm. 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 Ordered some jokboki or Korean rice cakes to go with it. Chewy. Okay, this is the soy garlic one and we always order the chicken with bones because it's just more fun to eat. That was so good. If you want to have the closest Korean fried chicken that you can get in Berlin to South Korea, definitely go to this place. Um, we chose the fried chicken for two people that costs around 20 euros. Um, and I think if you're not super hungry, you can even share that for three people. So we are both super, super full. Um, I think um, that's a super fair price. You can also share the, the plate for two people for three. That was very, very good and I'd highly recommend to go there. We're going for Korean barbecue! Woo! Okay, people are looking at me weird, which always happens when I film myself outside, but that's okay, I'm weird, what you're gonna do about it? Han barbecue right beside the karaoke bar. <laughs> So they have different types of grills and we opted for the two-in-one mix which is a mix of pork belly and pork neck. We got our grill set up and there's this cool place where you can put in some eggs. Every grill set comes with some dipping sauce and some raw garlic and this is what we ordered, some pork belly and pork neck. This is the part with the raw egg and in this corner we have some cheese that's going to be melted and some corn and also it comes with three banchans like this kimchi cucumber, radish and plain kimchi and white rice. <laughs> This is the part 
where I wanted to show you how to actually eat Korean barbecue properly. First, you're going to take a salad leaf and then stuff it basically with whatever you want. I started with some white plain rice, a little bit of the sauce that you also can put on the meat if you want, some raw garlic, a piece of meat, dip it into the sesame oil, and then some kimchi if you want, that's very optional. And since there's this cheese option, I put another meat with cheese into my salad wrap. And then you want to put everything together, roll it, and then shove everything in your mouth. And that's a perfect one biter. And this is the cooked slash steamed slash grilled egg. The texture is super soft and it's very delicious. Don't miss out on that. Another item that we tried is Korean seafood pancake called Hamul Panjeon. This one is, I think, the best one I have had in Berlin. It's not just flour and onions, it's really stuffed with a lot of seafood like shrimps and mussels and octopus. And this one was really, really nice. So if you like seafood, I'd highly, highly recommend to try. Oh, if you come to any Korean place and if they have milkies, you need to order milkies. Like, there's no other way than to try milkies. It's addictive and sweet, a little bit fuzzy, but very, very good. So then we just grilled the rest of the meat. I think it was around 23 euros for two people. And with all the banchans and everything, that was a decent price. And we both were really, really full. Last bite. Yummy. And now we're going home with the subway and I just wanted to show the beautiful tiles at this subway station. We are in Charlottenburg to try the new Korean menu by Chanu's House of Noodles. You probably know Chanu um, because they serve amazing homemade Chinese noodles and amazing dumplings but now they launched a new korean menu because the owner is actually half korean half chinese so i'm very very excited to try their new menu i've seen some cold noodles very promising very very excited let's go These are the ice cold noodles with egg and beef and cucumber and I wanted to show you this huge chunk of chilled broth. I mainly came here for the ice cold noodles with the icy broth. They were perfect for this Berlin summer heat and one of my favorite foods. They were 9 euro and super super delicious. And since they have Korean fried chicken on the menu and we love Korean fried chicken, we had to order the sweet and spicy delicious ones too. Also any place that serves homemade unsweetened milk tea, count me in. That was so good. I'm so full like I actually look pregnant but it's just a food baby. So if you come please try the cold noodles, they are very very signature for Korean cuisine I would say. Um, they were amazing, we also ordered the japchae, very stringy, very chewy, very garlicky if that's something that you like and the service is also super super nice every single time. So all in all perfect food, perfect location, super nice people come and try um, some Korean food. I really loved introducing all my favorite Korean foods to you guys. Let me know what's your favorite Korean food. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video to this channel and I'll see you soon. Bye!